So it's been such a long time since we didn't post a video on this channel, but in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what it means to attract uh, Romanian women, that's the title, but it's gonna work for every woman that you want, doesn't matter the country you're in, the nationality you're after, but I'm gonna talk to you about this concept of attracting instead of chasing, because if you watch YouTube for a, uh, for a very long time, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you do, everyone is after chasing, they wanna chase. They want to get things, they want to uh, manipulate women, they want to uh, compromise situations, they want to be able to psychologically trick people, and all these actions are towards chasing. But if you want to become a guy, a man, that attracts women, you want to become a magnet, it's the things that you have to let go that we're going to talk about because you're not facing the things that you are resisting to. So because you are resisting in accepting certain scenarios or situations or pains or uh, memories that you have that might drag you down, because you're not accepting those, to so everything that you resist, it actually persists. So let's take an example. As a guy, you want to approach a woman and you don't want to get rejected. Hence the idea of you are resisting the possible outcome of being rejected. And what happens? You're going over there, you're sabotaging yourself because in your mind is, I don't want to get rejected. But like I said, to whatever you resist, it does persist. So that's exactly what happens to you. You get rejected. Now your reality of your subconscious mind and your pain body is actually reminding you of your reality. Your reality is that you're a guy that it's deemed to get rejected. You don't deserve more. So because of that, that is the outcome you're having. So what is happening over here? You're resisting to the idea of getting rejected instead of accepting that that might be a possible outcome. As soon as you actually accept that, now you enter into a different vibration. You're not going to resist anymore. You embrace everything that is coming your way. The obstacle over here, the reason why you might not embrace that, you might not accept that, is because somewhere along your life, in your past, you have been hurt a lot by this feeling. And you started pushing it down, you're starting to resist it, you're starting to deny the mere existence of this feeling. Because of that, you don't want to accept that it could happen again because there's a lot of pain involved. As soon as you bring it up, as soon as you trigger it, you bring your conscious awareness on this thing, you will start to embrace and feel again the thing that you disconnected more of you because that's a part of you that you pushed away. So now you're disconnected from yourself. And now that you get connected to yourself once again, you embrace everything, life becomes joyful once again. You go, you approach that woman and you are very conscious of the fact that she might reject you. And what's gonna happen then? You just experience acceptance. Because if you run away from it, it's just gonna persist. You're gonna get rejected. If you accept it, now you're not gonna feel anything. You're not gonna be in that needy energy and vibration. So because you're resisting to certain stuff, you don't get to attract. You're either resisting or attracting. So accepting the outcome that you do not want, yeah, accepting it as it's something okay, it's deemed to happen and I'm okay with it. Now you're opening yourself to a different vibration which is called attracting. Now you become the magnet. So let's take an example because we do a lot of coaching here in Romania. We have clients from all over the world. They always come with these suggestions. How should I dress? Should I do this? Should I do that? These are all things that are oriented to the external world. You're still attached to that outcome of making people see you, getting their attention, let's impress them, let's make them see us. But you don't want to do that. You want to impress yourself, you want to see yourself for what you are, you want to get to some internal values instead of external values. So usually our clients have external values like uh, I want to be seen, I want to impress her, I want to know that I'm okay to be myself with her, uh, to open up, I want to be accepted to be me, to be sure that if if I'm gonna be myself, that's okay and accepted over here. You gotta come back to your internal values. You gotta modify your values. You gotta change the compass, basically. When you have internal values, you're talking about integrity, transparency. You're honest. You are vulnerable. 
But because right now you're in a state of fear, you're in a st state of pain, vulnerability for you might seem like a weakness, like people can take advantage of. And that is not true. If you're still in a mindset that you want to get things from people, of course vulnerability is going to seem a weakness to you because that person might leave or might laugh, might judge you. But if you're in a state of mind where you're okay with that, you let go and you are able to be vulnerable because that's what you love about you. You love the experience that you had, which is called life. Now that person feels inspired. And if for some reason he, will, he or she will judge you, will laugh, you already know that they're talking about themselves. They're laughing about themselves. Nobody in this life can actually hurt you, by the way. This is a concept a lot of people don't understand. That's the reason why I offer coaching in person or online for like 15 hours to 30 hours sometimes. If you want to have a look, I'm going to uh, leave some information over here in the description of the video below. But uh, that's what you want to understand. You, you have a lot of people that say, I was with someone and uh, she cheated on me. A woman cannot actually cheat on you. People can't cheat on you. People cannot make you suffer. There's a guy that told me once, uh, you know, I, I, I love the woman. She made me suffer. She can't, su she can't make you suffer. The only thing you're going to suffer is the result, uh, the different or bad result uh, of your expectations. So your expectations haven't been met. That's why you suffer. So you see, there's a lot of things that you want to let go to enter this energy and vibration of attracting. You're not going to attract if you resist. And it doesn't even matter what is the thing that you resist. But because you're simply resisting to something, you cannot become the magnet that attracts things in your life. Because if you condition love, if you tell yourself, uh, I want a woman that is X, Y, Z. And to me, love is blah, 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 blah. Now you're conditioning love, you're resisting to the different outcomes or possibilities of what love can give you. And that is the reason why you cannot find love, you cannot attract it, and you keep running towards it. You keep chasing in a needy uh, energy, in a resisting energy, and you keep looking for the answer where there is no answer. So that is the reason I am inviting you to have coaching sessions with me. I have a full package for this because I want to help you understand that your life the way you want it, it can be right now. You can go on the street and attract women instead of chasing them. You can attract women instead of trying to pick them up. You can have interactions if that's what you like. I like to approach women. I love that. But I, I do it from a, a place of um, acceptance, a place of I'm inspired to do that. I feel amazing when I do that. But I do feel amazing even when I'm not doing that. But if you do this and you feel like it's full of effort, it's because you're doing out of ego. You're still resisting. You, you want to take things to satisfy your needs, to satisfy your moments, to uh, satisfy that dopamine request uh, need. You know, this is what I'm trying to, to let you understand. There is a lot of beautiful things to this life as soon as you acknowledge what actually runs you deeply. If you want to raise yourself to a new level of consciousness, which is basically what I'm proposing over here, because over there, you're going to be way more wiser than other people. And in order to understand people, you got to understand yourself. So you want to be able to recognize the things that you feel. You want to be able to recognize the difference through feelings and actions. And you want to be able to identify the triggers and be aware of them and let them come up to see what information they give you. This is the reason why a lot of people do meditation and don't understand what the heck is a meditation, what is the purpose and uh, whatnot. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, it helps me a lot. And I hope to see you in coaching sessions where we can actually do something about your life. It's very sad for me to see a lot of people that wait for like 40 years of their life to actually take this decision. Coaching is something that we all need at any given point in the time. Even I myself, I like to get coached when I find people that can actually offer me some new information that or new things that are uh, going to make me more aware of certain stuff. So don't be ashamed of it. Come, let's do something about your life. And uh, I cannot wait to meet you. Thank you so much. See you next time.